Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a quick look at how to style your buttons using the button element. So let's go ahead and click start from scratch and we will just set up a one column container here. We're going to then jump into our elements pane and type in button. We'll drag that button into our design here and let's begin styling. First things first, in its default state, it has text enabled and graphic disabled. But let's say you wanted some sort of arrow in here. Well, we might turn that graphic on. Now the problem is, maybe for an arrow, you really want that arrow to be on the right hand side of the text. Well, very simple. We can actually scroll down to our Flexbox container right here, and we can reverse the design. That puts our icon on the right hand side now. So we can then scroll down here, type next as our text maybe we want that text to be bold so we can go ahead and do something like this jump down to our graphic icon and under icon we will make this an arrow and we want that arrow to be pointing to the right now we want that arrow to be a little bit smaller it seems a little large there so we might just go with 1m shrink it down and now we're looking pretty good if we wanted to add some interaction color, we could say that the button should be green by default. And then when you hover on it, this interaction here, we then want it to be purple. And maybe we want our button text color here to be white. And then sort of a white with an opacity on hover. We'd then want to match our graphic to that. So we'd come down here to color and do the same. And now, Hover turns purple and the text has some opacity applied to it. It's as easy as that. But now let's say on mobile, we actually want this button to span the entire width of our container here. And that's easy enough to achieve. Let's make sure we have our button selected so we're inspecting it in our workspace here. Let's scroll down to size and under width here, we only want this to apply to our mobile screen sizes. So we're going to click on the text width here and let's do this right after tablet here. We got our first mobile size here. Let's go ahead and type in 100%. And you'll notice that's cascading down to the next mobile size as well. So they're both set to 100% there. And now we can see at our desktop size, we have a standard button, which is here. Laptop size, same thing. Tablet size, same thing. First mobile responsive size, now it's full width. And second mobile responsive size, now it is full width. And that's an easy way to begin styling your buttons and making sure your buttons look good on multiple screen sizes. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and happy building.